Hi, this is Margot. This is Friday, around noon time Pacific time, March the 13th, 2020. And this is kind of an emergency broadcast. And because of the sulfur dioxide releases I'm seeing here um, over the Aleutian Islands, look at this coming up today. And here's out of Alaska, and here's out of Canada, and here's over the west coast of the United States. And so when I see high releases of sulfur dioxide like this, these are indicators of earthquakes that are going to happen in the next day or two, more than likely. And um, I've been tracking this and studying this for, I don't know, I've been uh, correlating high sulfur dioxide releases with earthquakes for about the last year now and um, have, have been pretty accurate on correlating in these things and my what I found is that as the plates move, if there are pockets of sulfur dioxide there that high releases can happen when the plates move and this happens before the earthquakes happen so these high sulfur dioxide releases that are not from a volcano like Popocatapetl or from civilization like over here in China but when you see them high like this and zipping up into the atmosphere um, this this is like a sudden release and is more than likely an earthquake that's going to happen and if we go to now this right now we're looking at cams for today for sulfur dioxide and the Pacific view total column and if we go to the 500 HPA reading we can see that it's off the charts here going up up over the Aleutian Islands and up up across over Alaska and there's another release over northern Canada then there's a huge release over northern California that comes straight across straight east um, t across to um, Salt Lake and so I'm, I'm doing this broadcast so that to give people a heads up that this could trigger the Cascadia subduction zone to go. Whatever this is, this is all connected. And when we look at the earthquake map, this red line, this tectonic plate line, this is the Pacific plate and this is the North America plate and it's all connected and when you see one go it you know others go so we've been watching this Cascadia subduction zone this is the Juan de Fuca plate and you know they've been predicting a big one here in Seattle but I think it could happen further south like here because it's this area this Petrolia area is where we're actually seeing this big release. <clears throat> here's um, here's a, a blow up of it where it's um, it's uh, this is the San Francisco area down here. This is Petrolia, so it's in between there that it's coming up and going straight across. And this is the total column view. And <clears throat> Now Yellowstone is up here, so um, you know it could. I don't know if it could trigger Yellowstone. Where am I? Here's the 450 HPA. Oh, what am I doing? And if we blow that up, you can see. See it comes straight across. And this is Salt Lake here. So um, this is so dark and it looks like another release here in either um, 
it's this is this is Lake Tahoe here this is Pyramid Lake so it's in northern Nevada it could be in northern Nevada or or here in southern Idaho or in southern Oregon where it could release and also over here but the sulfur dioxide is this release is off the charts so it's coming across here huge release coming all the way across here and then the other the other ones are from you know coming from the Aleutian Islands and up and around so there I expect a big earthquake somewhere around in here and then another one um, going across Canada here it's going across here like that so we've got three that we're looking at <clears throat> let's look I'm I was in tears as I was looking at this and um, this is on top of what's going on with the coronavirus and everything here's here's the North Pole view we can see we can see see it here in the Aleutian Islands coming up and around here's the Canada one so it's not as much but here's the one um, on the west coast of the US here it is at 450 HP I mean 500 HPA and it gathers when it's these quick so high releases they gather at 500 HPA and that's how I know and then here's the volcano but there's nothing like this anywhere else on the planet today now here's a high release over Greenland you know there could be something going on there too I don't know I'm really focused on this right now yeah that could be an earthquake that's going to happen near the North Pole because when this starts shaking I'm telling you all all everything's going to shake loose okay here's the Pacific view for 500 HPA <coughs> If I said 450 earlier, I meant 500. Sorry. I'm really rattled with this. And um, just trying to get this out. This is in the exclamation point pattern, like we see with earthquakes. And it looks like there could be um, a large earthquake here. This is the Anchorage area and then here it is over Canada and then here it is really it's really high all the way across from Petrolia all the way across to um, Salt Lake that's the Eurasia view so you know we have so here's the global view here's what it looks like globally and we can see this is dwarfing everything else that's going on <clears throat> and we can see these high releases gathering at 500 HPA here in the Pacific Canada and the west coast of the United States and going across to Salt Lake and also it's high gathering over the Arctic so this is something we want to keep an eye on and it's, it's plate movement is what we're seeing when we see it releasing like that <coughs> all at once in three places that's definite plate movement so it's too late to do anything or go anywhere I just recommend you shelter in place 
get your spiritual house in order if you haven't gotten right with God and Jesus you know you may not have a chance after today or after right now after you watch this video so I love you all and I'm praying for everyone so God bless you and I'll keep you updated talk to you soon goodbye